Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning, which is kind of my favorite day of the week. I love Mondays. I feel fresh, I feel ready, I am pumped. I have been awake since about 5 a.m., but we're gonna ignore that. I have just dropped Harper at childcare and Miley and I are gonna go for a coffee and I'm gonna have a read before we go to the gym. She is very hungry, so I'm gonna make this intro short and snappy but if you're new here welcome my name is Kirsty. I'm 26 I live in Adelaide with my little family which I have two beautiful daughters and wonderful husband Hayden and an Australian Kelpie dog Ziggy and I just vlog my life I do a lot of book content at the moment I'm frothing books I'm currently reading two books three books actually I'm currently reading Happy Place by Emily Henry I am obsessed with this I'm really really loving it I'm on page 172 and on my Kindle which surely I haven't forgotten. Oh no. Oh no, there it is. It's fine. I am reading Unforgettable by Melanie Harlow, which is the fifth book in the Cloverly Farms series. I've just dropped my phone. I am page 167. What did I just say I was on this? 172. Around the same amount. So yeah, 50% through this one and almost halfway through that one. And I'm having the best time. So I'm going to go get a coffee. I'm down in Port Nalunga. I'm going to get one from the flower store and then I'm going to go to the gym and I'm very excited to work out. Also loving my new jumper from Target. I got this, you would have seen me get it in last week's vlog and it's very cute and it has pockets which I haven't had a jumper with pockets for a while and I'm loving it. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm literally talking for no reason. I am so tired. I'm gonna try and not just come on here and complain, but holy crap. I don't know if we're hitting the four month sleep regression or it was just that Marley had a bit of a blocked nose yesterday, but I'm surviving today. I'm gonna get coffee and then go to the gym and then maybe see Ella. She hasn't replied yet, so I'm not sure, but, and I need to feed the baby. So let's go. You ever get to the stage where you need to wash your hair really badly and then you're like, well, I'm going to get sweaty tomorrow, so I might as well not wash it today. So then you don't wash it and then that happens a few days in a row and then you're just absolutely disgusting. Because that's been me this week because I should have washed it on Sunday and then I just didn't. And then I was like, well, I'm going to the gym Monday. You know, it doesn't matter. It's going to get sweaty. So then I didn't wash it. And then yesterday I was going to wash it and then I was like, well, I'm doing conditioning in the morning. So I'm going to get really sweaty. And now it's gross. So I'm going to go wash my hair and freshen up. It's like 20 past 11 and I'm feeling quite good. I was going to go see Ella today, but I think she's a little overwhelmed with the move which is so fine she's got a lot on so i think we'll see her next week instead which actually is kind of ideal because it's freed me up to get a lot done like i don't have other than going to the shops to get stuff for family dinner i can just be home for the day which is great because i really want to finish reading happy place i've got 110 pages to go so i would love to finish that today so maybe once i've had my shower i might put on a face mask and read and then yeah i'll just like clean the kitchen do a food shop later marley's asleep so i just wanted to sort of chill while she's napping and then we'll pop to woolies when she wakes up get a few things for dinner that's about it i am so hungry even though i literally just ate but instead of doing what i usually do and then just keep eating and eating and eating and then end up feeling sick i'm gonna have some water and my shower and let my food digest i think i'm having a bit of a problem with that at the moment like i just keep eating and then i don't eat anything like good like i eat well and then i top up on junk and then i feel sick after so i'm trying to be better <laughs> with that so i've had my eggs i'm gonna let them digest whilst i shower and then if i'm still hungry once i've had my shower and all of that has digested then obviously i'll have something else to eat but i just need to like slow down a little bit because i just stuff my face and then i'm like oh that was a bad idea so yeah the shower fresh just reading because I'd love to finish this. Like, I've got two books that I want to finish in the next couple of days so I can go in my reading vlog that you will have already seen. So hopefully, hopefully I got there. But yeah, I've got a few pages to read of them. Both. They've both got about 100 pages left. So hopefully I get them done and the reading vlog is good. Fingers crossed. But yeah, okay, gonna go shower. Okay, not only have I showered and washed my hair and cleaned my face and put a moisturizer on and blow dried my hair. I also put on a real outfit, like a grown up. I've got on 
my jeans from Target. My shoes are Adidas. My top is a fake the label. And this cardigan is one that I got from Target last week. So I'm a bit proud of myself. I'm about to go to the shops now. I'm going to wake Marley up. She's still sleeping. So I'm going to go wake her up. I've just chucked the heater on because it's freezing. What are we today? 14 degrees. So I'm frozen. I just put the heater on. And yeah, we're going to pop to the shops. I love going to Woolies, I'm not gonna lie. And with one child, it's like enjoyable. Not with a toddler, I'll tell you that much. And I'm gonna get stuff for dinner. I'm just double checking if there's anything else I need. I think so. But we're trying to be a bit better with how much we spend when I go to Woolies. So I'm getting the essentials. I'm gonna wake Marley up, give her a quick feed, and then yeah, pop to Woolies. But I feel so fresh. I love when my hair is like washed. I mean, it's a bit fluffy right now because I haven't done anything with it. Like it looks a bit like a proper mum hair, but it's clean and it smells nice. So we're thriving. Not me saying 20 minutes ago that I needed to not spend much at the grocery store and spending $100. What the heck? So quick little grocery haul. Nothing overly exciting. I've got some snacks though. So I got some drizzled See, Woolies have this thing going at the moment. It's called like Big Night In, and if you buy three things from there, that like certain products, you're going to win some stuff. So I was drawn in. These were on it, which are um, drizzled milk chocolate, sea salt, caramel, popcorn. I got two different types of buns for people to choose from. So I got, and then the rest will just go in the freezer for me at burgers another time. So I got the tip top like big buns, and then I also got gourmet burger buns, like brioche buns. So just keeping the whole fam happy for family dinner night, you know? And then I got tomatoes, we've already got lettuce, so I didn't need any of that. And then me just being a freaking people pleaser, apparently, just doing the most for everyone. So I've gone with the option of beef burgers or chicken burgers for some reason. So these I was getting like 250 points for. Ziggy, can you just wait? So obviously got these ones. And then I saw these and their chicken thigh fillet burgers and they just look so good. And so got like multiple options for people in my family, which obviously the rest of these will also go in the freezer. So this will all last us multiple dinners at least. And then I got eggs, oat milk. I got two, they were on special. Ali is just having the time of her life. Then in the Big Nighty three things, there was Tim Tams and they're also half price. So I got a pack of them and have them like for dessert tonight. And then, so on there was chips, which I needed anyway. So I got the McCann pub style extra speed. They sound so tasty. And obviously because I got these instead of just like the $1 fries, they're obviously a lot more expensive. And then I got some protein yogurt cause I'm gonna get back my oats in the mornings cause I've been struggling with having breakfast at the moment. And that's what I put in my oats. Then I got, my family's really picky and everyone likes this specific cheese when we have burgers. So I got specific burger cheese. I got two protein puddings. I love these. These are the high protein Wicked Sisters ones. They're so good. So I love having them and like 15 grams of protein. Yes, thank you. And I got bacon. And that was $97 or $98, something like that. So actually not too bad because a lot of it will last a long time, but far out groceries are just expensive these days. So you know how like back in the day it was just like the mums stayed home and the dads worked full time and everyone was just like stay at home mums? Well, mum was telling me, well she tells me, that when she had us, the house was always spotless and dad would get home from work at like four o'clock or whatever time it was. And I wonder how that was possible because my house is literally always a mess and I feel like try it so hard to go between like, it doesn't matter, a house is meant to be lived in, you've got young children, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, I'm not working technically in like a paid nine to five job right now. So my house should be able to get tidy, but I feel like all I do is tidy my house. And then the next day, all I do again is tidy the house because it's so messy all the time. Like I've just made us pancakes for lunch. Harper's now getting down for a nap and we had my family over for dinner last night. And so like I put the dishwasher on before we went to the gym, but there's just like more dishes. There's always more dishes. There's always more everything. And <laughs> it's chaotic no matter what. And now like the living room's a mess because Harper's just been in there playing and colouring. So now there's crayons everywhere. And she's pretty good generally. Like she cleans up after herself. Sometimes before her nap I like don't have the effort to have the conversation to be like, okay, let's put your toys away before you go for your nap because her nap was wet. So I was like, alright, let's go sit on the potty. So then we went on the potty and that took 10 minutes. And then I was like, okay, just go down for your nap. I need you to nap. So now she's just chatting to herself. 
in her cot, which is fine. And then we're also trying to get Marley on the bottle. That's not going well. You might remember last week I got a bottle that said 92% of kids take the bottle. Well, ours was the 8% that does not currently. She just screams at it. Papa was the same when she was younger, but now I'm constantly having to like sterilize the bottle to try again and wash it and I'm just like, all I do is clean. But then I know mum did then also say that she would just be home all day which I try to get out of the house as much as I can. A, the more we're here, the messier it gets. B, I don't like being stuck in the house. I get really bored. C, Harper gets bored and like we need fresh air and like fun. So we got up this morning, went to the gym and then stayed at the gym a bit longer so I could feed Marley. So I just stayed in the kid's space with Harper and like the owner of the gym and her their kid. And we just like hung out for another 15 minutes or so. We came home and had pancakes. Marley needed to sleep. So I tried to get her to sleep whilst Harper was like running wild. So that was an experience, but ended up getting the coloring out. So, yeah, it's just been a wild time, if I'm completely honest. Because I just feel like, no matter what, poor Hayden would be like, how is the house always messy when I come home, even though you're home? I'm like, because doing things makes it messy. Like, as soon as I need something to eat, the kitchen gets messy. As soon as Harper's around, it, the whole house is messy. Like, she just pulls things out of everywhere. I'm also on my second coffee of the day, even though I told myself I was only going to have one coffee. But I had to drink my first one cold this morning, so it doesn't count, right? That's what I'm telling myself. Papa's not happy in her cot also, which surprises me, because usually, like, she asked for a nap and then was fine. But, like, look at this. A, the house always now looks messy because I have to dry it inside. And then this is my coffee table. So I love that for me. And, like, I don't even want to show you my kitchen. It's just an absolute crap hole. So now that the girls are both sleeping, I'm going to do what I always do and clean the house. I have nipple tonight. I had a really good gym session this morning. I, we did um, hip thrusters. And I haven't done them since well before I, or like when I was very early pregnant because obviously then my bump started getting in the way and they felt good I could have gone heavier I did 65 kilos and then the time ran out like I worked up slowly to 65 kilos and then the time ran out so I would love to see what I can do the more I push and like the more time I spend and yeah I'm stoked so it's where I'm at I'm gonna clean my house for the 800th time this week and talk to you later having one of those times where I don't know what to do with myself first. It's Thursday. I have had like a semi-productive day. I went to the gym this morning. I've got both the girls today because it's Thursday, so Harper's not at childcare. And we went to the gym and then went to a play cafe. I caught up with a couple of girlfriends and Harper played in the play cafe, which was great. And then I came home and both the girls were asleep, which is amazing. They were both so tired. Oh my gosh, absolutely tanked, which is like great. But then I felt bad because I was like, we should have probably left a little bit earlier, but oh well. And then I've hung up some washing, I've folded some washing, I've emptied the dishwasher, put on a load of washing, I edited a book video and uploaded it and scheduled it and have done the thumbnail. So like I've done a lot of stuff, but now I just don't know. Like the girls will wake up soon. It's been an hour and a half, so I'm like, Papa could wake up in 10 seconds or she could sleep another hour. And I need to shower, so I should do that. And then I want to read, but then the house is still like messy because it's always messy no matter how much I do. And I just don't know. So instead I thought I'd pick up my camera and say hi because I'm just having a crisis but yeah it's been a big week I'm really really sore from the gym great I feel good I think tomorrow what I have been doing on a Friday is I've been going to the kids space and I've been going for a coffee first and sitting down for a coffee I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna take Marley for a walk before the gym instead and then we'll sit and chill and do kids space instead of like sitting down all morning I think I want to try and do a big like I don't know six or seven K maybe if I can get like an hour in but we'll see how we go that'd be nice if the weather's nice enough I'd love to do it by the beach I don't have much more to do I'm not doing anything overly exciting this week to be completely honest we are going out tomorrow night to Watkins winery which is up in like Chandler's Hill so a bit of a different area to where I've ever been like I've never been there before but I think the view is really beautiful because it's like up on a hill looks out to Adelaide. I'll try and get a few clips there when I'm there, hopefully. But I also might just forget because we're going with some of Hayden's, like our friends, but Hay Hayden made the friends and I become friends with the wives and stuff. So that'll be fun. But yeah, then on the weekend, we don't really have any plans yet. I don't know. My brain suddenly is not functioning. Wednesdays and Thursdays, as you guys know, just kind of hectic. Just hectic. I think I'm going to go jump in the shower now. So then when Harper wakes up, we're good to go. So I just got sent some goodies and I don't really know what it is. So I figured I'd open it with you guys. I know the brand asked if they, if they could send me something, but I don't know what it is. So it is from Barney Skin. Let's have a look. 
Skin Dew for a Holiday Dive In with Barney Skin. So they've sent me a Holiday Glow Serum. It is a hyaluronic acid with niacinamide, niacinamide, and encapsulated vitamin E. Hydrates and plump. Now you guys know I love something. Scream. Bleh, I can't talk. You guys know that I am very into skincare and I love my serums, which is actually good timing because I pretty much just out of my, like I've ran out of my um, morning serum that I use usually. I usually use it from GoTo. So it is a multi-purpose serum packed with powerful activity vitamins and botanical extracts for hydrated plump and radiant skin it's a post holiday glow bottled how to use it massage three to four drops on clean damp skin use after cleansing but before sunscreen and between cocktails a.m. and p.m. it's happy hour somewhere okay thank you so much Barney skin packaging is cute and this is what it looks like it's the oh it's got like little beads in it oh wow it smells good okay it's a good start it smells good obviously I haven't used this yet so I can't recommend it or not maybe I'll use it for a couple of months and then let you guys know how I go with it, but I do love a hyaluronic serum, so I'm excited to try this out. Thank you so much, Barney Skin. Made in Australia, created for all skin types, vegan and cruelty free, expertly formulated by chemists. Fun. at all today I don't think but I'm on an absolute mission so I have so much to do because we are going out very shortly when Hayden gets back from work basically once he's showered and ready we are going out and I need to what is it? it's 20 to 4 I need to shower wash my hair blow dry it straighten it curl it and do my makeup as well as getting Harper's stuff ready to take some stuff to my parents house because they're going to watch her whilst we're out for dinner and then they're going to bring her home and put her to bed and I also need to make sure that her bedroom is ready with like her pajamas and stuff ready for them as well as just making the house not look like an absolute shithole because it's a mess as always because it gets messy so quickly so I'm not over really confident I need to jump in the shower and I also got like I want to start like gradually tanning my body so that I'm just not so pasty right now so I just feel a little bit like so pale all the time and I don't want to use like a weekly tanner I don't want to tan weekly and have to then not touch things for ages and you know do like the proper tanning routine so I'm thinking like gradual tanning lotion maybe will be better for me and I can just do it as I get out of the shower but holy moly I'm stressed so yeah it's quarter to four Hayden is still at work so I don't know when he's coming home I've just put Miley down for a nap but basically the plan is to like get organized and then we'll pick Harper up from childcare and take her straight to my parents and go straight from my parents out to dinner at the winery that we're going to which are like in the hills that I've never been to so yeah a bit chaotic but we can do this it's fine I've had a nice day and just like hanging out with mum went to the gym this morning as you would have seen my workout and then mum and I went for lunch and then went back to her place so yeah it's been a good day suddenly it's rather late in the day so let's do this <laughs> Is complete, but I still just need my hair. I thought you did. Really? <laughs> I said, I thought you did. I don't think I did. You must just be. I don't know. You're making like un inaudible sounds. Sorry. <laughs> you're just making inaudible sounds. Yeah. Have you looked at the menu at all for tonight? Nope. Have you? Nope. Gone rogue. Yeah, because I know they... Wood oven. Yeah, I think there's a wood oven pizza, like, van thing that is there quite a lot. We're going to leave What would be good if we could leave by five. Fifteen minutes. It'll take me another five minutes to do my hair, and then I just need to get dressed. Yeah, you can go in, just don't wake her. She'll be right. The conversations between a married couple when the baby is asleep in their bedroom. There are pros and cons to her having amazing naps in her bassinet, which is in our room. Because our room can't really be used anymore. <laughs> do you need to do your hair, my love? Do you need to do your hair? Do you need to do your hair? Do you need... <laughs> He's doing that on purpose. <laughs> don't come in the camera. Because you're all nudie rudy. I don't think I would... I think I'd get um, censored on YouTube for that. You might get a couple more followers. 
<laughs> I was talking to the girls today, my love. The girls, the girls, Rach and Georgia and Ella, and said that we should do dinner here one night so that you can meet them and Nick can come too. I wonder if, I don't know if Georgia and Rachel into Harry Potter or not, but <laughs> maybe we can swindle a bit of trip in there. Yeah, I thought we'd do dinner one night when they're down. What are you wearing? <laughs> what are you planning on wearing for dinner? Like, are we looking nice? Mm. I need to get my boots from under the bed. Thank you. I'm not finished yet. It's a little bit crazy at the moment, but thank you, my love. Bless you. Right, I'm gonna change and then I'll fix this. Paul Harper is gonna be the last one picked up from childcare, as always, because we are so bad. Okay. Cute. She's sleeping. She's awake. Oh, it failed. Drink. Yes. How embarrassed will you be with me for public vlogging? Yeah, very. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I'd love a rosé if they've got one. It would be amazing, please. Rosé? Yeah. Oh, that is good to drink. Thanks for me, love. Made it to dinner. Well, well, the first one's here, so... I've never been here before and it's very cute. It looks like it's going to be a dark beer. No. It's fruity as... Oh, it smells good. That's nice. Maybe I'll have to bring the girls here. Mm -hmm. I reckon. I'm having a rosé. Hayden's chatting with Marley. And he's very embarrassed that I'm public for Do you want to try my rosé? Oh, yeah, you go. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> you like it? That's nice. Good morning. It is now Saturday. You would have seen last night Hayden and I went to Watkins Winery where we had never been before but it was so sweet there. I, th I don't know, I loved it. I think we'll take George and Rachel there when they come which I feel like I subtly dropped whilst I was talking to Hayden last night whilst I was getting ready but Rachel and Georgia are coming over in June which is going to be so much fun. So Ella and I are sort of trying to figure out a few things that we want to do with them. I want to do a family night here and Hayden and I like cook everyone dinner and yeah just like lots of places that we want to take them. So I'm very excited. I love of people coming to Adelaide. I feel like Adelaide is so underrated and I just feel like everyone thinks, everyone always says, Adelaide's so boring, there's nothing to do here. But then I was saying to the girls, like, we would need two weeks here at least to show you everything that Adelaide has to offer. Like, it'll be a few big days of showing them some beautiful places. So, I'm very, very excited for them to come down and show them lots of beautiful places in our little city. And I always say to Rach, like, I think she would love living here. Like, the pace of Adelaide is very her vibe, but obviously they live in Brisbane and Gold Coast, but whatever. But yeah, it's Saturday morning. Hayden has actually taken Harper out with him, which honestly, I love her more than anything. Like, I'm so obsessed with her. But it's yeah. amazing when he has time with her one-on-one. -on -one. It makes me so happy. Also, apologies that you can just hear Marley blabbering away. She, I think, is going to be a chatty gal, just like myself and Harper. Harper is so chatty, it's insane. Um, but yeah, so he's taken Harper out. He's going for like a boys coffee brunch date and he's taking her with him, which I think is so sweet. And just so wholesome. I love that we're at a stage where like him catching up with the boys is for morning coffee instead of like Friday night beers. I don't know, I just feel like that's so wholesome and sweet. And such different connections that we have with people these days. Like I was talking to um, one of my friends the other day about growing from friends and changing friends and like as you get older, the people who you align with differently. And I just feel like Hayden and I have really transitioned in the last few years into like different, I guess we've grown up a lot. We've obviously had two children and we're just, we value different things and have different priorities now. And yeah, I'm just learning a lot about friends that maybe I used to have that I don't really align with as much anymore and friends who I have made in the last few years who have become some of the most important people in my life I share values with and yeah, align more with. So it's very interesting. I feel like I'm in a really interesting stage in life at the moment where I have the most incredible support system around me and the most wonderful friends and family and I just feel so lucky. But then I'm like, I'm lucky but also Hayden and I are really conscious of who we're choosing to put our energy into in these last couple of years since having children and who are going to recharge our social batteries and help us have energy and you know people that we leave interactions with feeling better about ourselves instead of tired and you know maybe not as good about ourselves so yeah I don't know that got a little bit deep for a second but I'm just really happy with the people that I surround myself with and I feel very lucky to have incredible people in my life. I've just been to the 
post office and picked up my delivery. So I'm gonna try on. Oh, ow. I'm gonna try on some clothes. I'm just trying to set up a makeshift tripod to stand you on so that you can get a good visual. And I say that as if I literally don't own a tripod. Whatever. Okay, first up, I wanted to start with leggings because these were kind of hard to get on. I probably should have sized up. These are a size small, which was actually a bit brave of me. Hi, Z. But I actually kind of love them. They're just a little bit tight, like, here. Like, that's okay. This is what they look like. These are the Motion Pockets Leggings 24 inch. So I love. Obviously, it's hard to just see, like, black leggings in camera. But pockets. So I'm stoked. Look cute, I think. I'm absolutely wearing the wrong bra with these. I'm wearing like a bralette, like a breastfeeding bralette. Far out, that's so cute. So these, I got three all the same. These are the Lux Midriff Tanks. This one's in a medium and then the other two I got were a small. Wow. Oh, the back is cute. Obviously, I would have like a normal razorback top with this, but I'm kind of obsessed. Wow. I've gone like colorful which i've never done before like i'm not a colorful activewear gal but like wow i feel like i'm gonna put on a proper sports bra to try the next two ones so that there's a bit more like realistic turns out actually no i'm not because my sports bras are drying because i washed them yesterday and i only have two that i can wear right now whilst breastfeeding but holy moly i'm obsessed with this as well wow okay also the material again like obviously you won't be able to normally see all the bra because i'll have a sports bra on but this color and like yeah it's a little bit tight around the tum but i feel like that's a me problem not a top problem you know that's something i'm working on is like feeling better in my postpartum body so cute right this color wow maybe i'm starting to like feel good in myself. I just needed some new activewear. Okay, lucky last. Very out of my comfort zone for the colour, so. Wand. She has gone for a yellow moment and I'm kind of here for it. I'm really getting out of my comfort zone with this little clothing haul, but I'm so happy with all of these. And the material, I wonder if I can show you, but like the material is so like buttery, like that soft buttery they're not overly thick and obviously i haven't worked out in them yet but the material is just so like luxe feeling and i'm so stoked this is my first ever try of anything from muscle republic so i've never bought anything from here before so i'm really impressed that i look good i feel good and even in bright colors i'm like feeling really confident wow i love this for me I'm gonna go for a walk, I think, now. Maybe with the dog and Marley. She's ready for a little snooze, so I think if I can give her like a 45 minute nap whilst walking the dog, that would be Jeff's kiss. So maybe I'll wear these leggings, and I think I'll wear like a t-shirt though, because it's a bit cold out. But I'm so happy with this. I feel so good, which I didn't expect. So I love that for me.